Hello everybody, my name is Furious Gamer, and welcome back to another 1 to 5 scale Minecraft Destroyer tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build the Clemson Class Destroyer. Um, now before I start off, I am not going, I apologize for not uploading in a very long while. I've been busy with a lot of things, plus school started back up and shit like that, so, you know, you, uh, do what you do. Stuff like that. Um, now before I start off, there are several different variations of the Clemson class and her uh, slightly related Wix class destroyer, but today we're just going to be focusing on the Clemsons as they were originally designed and built. So really you can use this for any of the uh, destroyers that you would like, but if there are any specific ships in the class that you would like to build in one of their different careers, like a minesweeper, mine lair, patrol, gunboat, training ship, whatever, just let me know and I will see what I can do. I might also attempt to do a couple of camouflages, but if you want me to do a camouflage, you have to give me the exact ship name and hull number or else I will not do it but um anyway this is my design um the Clemson class was a series of 156 destroyers which served with the United States Navy from after World War One to World War Two. the Clemson class ships were commissioned by the United States Navy from 1919 to 1922 built by the Newport News Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company New, New York Shipbuilding Corporation, William Cramp and Sons, Bethel, uh, William Cramp and Sons, Bethlehem Steel Corporation, Mare Island Naval Shipyard, Norfolk Naval Shipyard, and Bath Iron Works. Some quite, uh, some quite rapidly. The Clemson class was a minor redesign of the Wix class uh, for greater fuel capacity, and was the last pre World War Two, pre World War Two class. Of flush deck destroyers to be built for the United States. Until the Fletcher class destroyers, the Clemsons were the most numerous class of destroyers commissioned in the United States Navy. They were known colloquial, colloquially as flush deckers, four stackers, or four pipers. Um, kind of broker. Uh -huh. Here, anyway, um, to show you what we are dealing with, I guess we'll just put a substitute in here. Um, for their original configuration, you go down here. Um, now let's see. So at the front, you have the somewhat sheer front there isn't very much because she was a flush deck so with the way that you have to present her it's really really difficult because of the, the way that these are only like five blocks tall at most yeah about and um they're really small, really thin, not really all that long. Uh, there aren't very many signs on here, so if you do decide to build one of these, uh, or build multiple, I'll probably like add in a bunch of uh, signs at the back, like this. Just use one of those to credit me. Like, on the side or whatever, because the names are usually at the back. Or, instead of, like, the ship number, you can credit me there, I guess. Um. Yeah, uh, the front way have, like, a slight uh, shear that bends up a little further than the rest of the ship. You have the main gun, which... It's very small, and it's a single one at the front. Then you have the 
triangular superstructure up front and the main bow mast. Um, this was really weird to do because just the way that her superstructure is shaped, there's not really much you can do. Um, small tripod sort of mast. Here you have, of course, the four funnels and these are supposed to rep these skulls right here and the slabs coming up are supposed to represent like the compartment a little ways behind the main superstructure and then behind that you have like uh, a little bit of what I think is anti-aircraft moving down just a little bit you have what I think I built as torpedo tubes now she should have lifeboats and all that stuff but due to size uh, restra restraints uh, I couldn't find a good way to represent them technically the uh, torpedo tubes shouldn't be here either but they're here um I built this a while ago so I think I'm missing a few guns a look but um you the aft aftmost mast Hold on. destroyer Okay, never mind. Huh. So they only have two guns, really. Um, oh yeah, there are multiple stations around the ship, but again, due to limitations, they are not present. So if you see too many inaccuracies, don't come at me. There isn't much that I can do for a, a ship this small but anyway without further ado let's just kind of get into this all right and because of her size we can just literally just get into this um remove do that was working on a few things earlier so my, my inventory is kind of a mess here we go. So, you want to go to, because, and she's a fairly low draft, and because of that, and her beam, I didn't really add the propellers. If you would like, you, there's just a simple thing with this. that but you know it kind of looks weird anyway so you want to put this on the top slab of the first block underwater you want a crimson trap door to the side and then you want one two three four four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then fifteen. And then you want a crimson trap door, and then crouch, place a brick slab on the back, and then another crimson trap door. And because she's very tiny, that's all you have to do for. Oh my end, um, okay. That's all you have to do for uh, the draft. All right, and then I'm gonna get out your stone, like gray stain panels, stone slabs, and stone stairs. Down, 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 down
two. There we go. So on the very front, you want one and two stone blocks, polished black stone button on either side of the first one, and then a birch sign to either side of the second. All right, and then if you'd like, you can like try to draw out a number for this. There were a lot of thumbses. So you can choose whichever one you like. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten um, brick uh, full blocks. And then do the uh, same amount but with. stained glass panels on the side just like that and then you want stone brick stair and another one facing back another facing board and then one two a full block and a slab at the back then you want one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five skeleton skulls on the sides, just like that, and then wrap the back with signs. Now, as I said earlier, I think uh, at the back, the name, just like most uh, U.S. ships, would be on the back side right here but anyway that is layer two um moving on into layer three i'm gonna place an iron trap door at the front Oak pressure plate, a lever, flick forward, a forward facing upside down um, stone stair placed on the front of a andesite wall, and you want a skeleton skull to either side. Of your stair. Now, if you'd like, there are a couple variations of this. But you can put birch signs on either side of this wall, just to add a little more detail. So it looks a little better. Um, and then you want behind it a birch fence gate. Open backwards and then you want stone brick wall and stone slab skeleton skull on either side a wall with skeleton skull on either side stone slab skeleton skull to either side and then you just want stone brick wall You want redstone repeater, open all the way out, and then stone brick wall. On the inside, you want a birch fence gate open backwards, and an iron trap door to either side. Then you want a skeleton skull facing backwards, and another iron trap door. To either side. Um, okay. And then you want an end rod on the back of the skull. And then on the full block right here, you want to place a lever. Now, for like the uh, propeller guards on the side that prevent you from, you know, falling over and hitting the propellers, there's a uh, couple little uh, guards or 
guardrail thingies on the side. If you want to do that, you can just use birch fence gates like that. And then, depending on which one you're doing, which Clemson class you are, which Clemson class destroyer you are doing, on top of this stair, you can either have a polished andesite uh, slab wrapped in signs or you can go with an iron trap door personally I think I'm gonna go with the polished andesite slab with signs without the signs yeah, without the signs it's better all right and you want one two three end rods with an end rod on either side at the top and then you want to go down to the um first iron trap door and then put in um put a birch fence gate facing in and then on the back you want one two three end rods with an end rod on either side once again and then just like that you want wither skeleton skulls place them on top of the stone brick walls and then boom that does it for my design of a clemson class destroyer of the united states navy i hope you all enjoyed and i hope you had as much fun building this ship as i did and i hope to see you all in the next video be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell let me know down below what you guys would like to see next and yeah i will see you all in the next video goodbye